Well, as you know, I'm uh, in the Greek for it, and uh, I tried all my life to inform me a bit about uh, when you drive in the coming car and uh, you drive the water to get out. I think it's better. You can understand me. I don't need data. No. No. Okay. I'm going to try to do this presentation with here in Polish. And I'm going to try to speak and to make it understandable for you in uh, English. So, when there is something you don't know, you just tell me. And uh, I start. Dzień dobry, panie i panowie. <laughs> Witam was, kochani przyjaciele i ratownicy. To dla mnie znaczy przyjemawiać przed wami i dziękuję wam serdecznie za waszą obecność. To by było na tyle po polsku. <laughs> Then they continue to watch for English school. That yes, that me the match. Okay. I hope I can manage this. It works. Next one. Next one. I'll do it the other way. <laughs> okay, first of all, uh, you say I'm uh, a retired NATO officer. And in that way, I'm very glad to speak here because as an officer, I learned to know the courage and the braveness of the Polish soldiers and then know that you and all your people they had a lot to suffer during the last war and I am very very pleased to come speak here in friendly with the all only goal to save life well, we are at the Red Fed, the Fed is Red Federation. It's not interesting for you, so we're doing like the Polish. We try to learn people how to save people. And then, we, our activities are education of all kinds of lifesavers, first aid, life-saving competition, car and water, and I hope you will be there this afternoon or tomorrow. And then investigations in causes of drowning. Oh, next one. So, first of all, before I get to give you information. We have a lot of study. A study of a profound investigation. But especially the behavior here of cars in water. Because everybody thinks when a car comes in water, it's coming down. Now it does. It flows. And I will show you. And what is very important, I got the information for from survivors, from witnesses, from rescue and medical services, from police and the fire workers, and from the foreign life-saving organization. But we did many, many tests. Then, when I instructed somebody, when there was a danger, I had to know what was the danger and I have to test it before with my teachers. But now with all those things, what did we find? We find out 
that yearly we have hundreds of cars going involuntarily in the water because you know, there's a lot of cars they push in the water when they are stolen or something like that. But involuntarily they go up. And then we have, look at that, 65% of people died in it when the car comes in the water that deeper is in the lane. Not when a car comes in the water and sticks at the bottom. Or like that on the No. A car that floats in and get down, 65% people cannot get out. <coughs> and that I will try to explain what you can do in order to do that. So we decided that we had to do something in that matter. And now I say that I use the Now what's the aim of this lecture? First of all, pro procure more survival chances by publishing the experience of our federation to lifesavers, to rescue services, to units of vehicles, to everybody. And then we have the organization of demonstrations of specific classes, and I will show you how it works in the best of classes. And then presentations like, for instance, this. But also by the distribution of folders. And now watch out. I hope I can open it because the first time I work with this. Uh, yes, I hope. That's what you will feel when you drive in the car in water. with the four wheels in the water is floating. 
here, that car is floating because a lot of air in it. It floats, floats, floats. Get out when it floats. Don't wait before it sets. Wait till the water in the car. When you open the door, you get out. When you get out of that way, that's the most certain way to the cemetery. I can, you can believe it. Look, that car, how it is floating. And now, when you open the windows, open it, open them at the side. The same. Uh, <coughs> we make the turning in order to study the distractions. When the car comes at the side or at the top, we want to study cable here and a winch and then the winch was slow or quick the car came over as soon as it hit the water the hook broke and the car was floating so we could we could Im imitate all different ways of cars getting in the water I show you this all because I think it will be very interesting for you when you are going to teach and tell the people what they have to do to save themselves or save other people when they are with a car in the water. That it's good to have seen all those things. Look how long it floats and it's a heavy car and now we will save something. This car was one hour under the water and look, the lights are still burning because actually the lights are so well protected that it can resist. And look now, when you want to, want to break a window, you have to pay attention. It's exactly the same thing when you, when you want to hit something here in it. It's not working. You have to fix it and then it is. So it has to be fixed here. Oh, it can, it can. And you will say it's an old film because uh, it's a film of 2000, uh, of uh, 1075 one that we, we put in the cars, so in the water. And now we will say those visual conclusions. First of all, every car floats and afterwards go down. Secondly, the floating car depends de 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 of the kind of car. When you have a car with no roof, an open car, the car will float, float very much, a very long time. And then, as you say, the damages at the coachwork when the 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 room is flattened, there's no air in it, then it's not <coughs> floating very long. And then the air bubble. And about the air bubble, we will speak later because it's very important. And also we will make a picture that air bubble. And then we find we have three phases. We have three phases. We have the floating phase. We have the sinking phase. And we have the phase on the bottom. And in that phase here, you will have a lot of chances to come get out alive. Here it becomes more dangerous and more difficult. And here you have to be very lucky. We have some conclusions. And first of all, like you saw in the first film, it's unexpectedly. You're driving with your girl or girlfriend <coughs> after a party and one of a sudden you're in the water. It's 
un unexpected. And then the survival chances, they decrease by sinking. The deeper the car goes, the less chances you have. And what is very important, that is actually the physical factor. Children, men, women, when we are a swimmer or we are not a swimmer, it all depends and naturally these injuries. When you have broken legs and broken arms, it will be different to get us. But especially, I want to come to the psychological factor. At the psychological factor, you have first of all the self-prevention. Because nobody wants to die, nobody wants to hurt himself, and they are fighting to stay alive. And then I will speak about fear. How do you say in Polish? Strack? Strack? That's not that. Fear. Everybody has fear. And the one who says he never fear, or he is doped, or he is drunk, or he is a liar. But everybody has fear because fear is our protection against our self-destruction. And we are fear from what? We are fear from the danger. And then always I said, please try to know the danger and the danger will be less dangerous. When you see every day parents who drive their children to school because they are afraid that they don't have an accident. No. Learn the children the danger of the population and everything, and you will have less, less accidents. That are So we have here the three for this time. I'm sorry, in the first time I'm working with this thing. It's nice.
that when you are out, it's much easier to pull people out than being in that car where there's certainly a struggle of life for to get out, pushing him out. So for the best winner, or the most appropriated, get out of the car. And look in the photo, in the floating files. Look how she gets out. You saw that in my view, how she gets out. With take the roof and get out this way. Why? When you are attached to something, you can go to every place. You get out, you see what's happening in the car, and you stick to the car. When you go out like that, and you be attached, you go down. You are here, you have to come back, and you need to keep the contact with the car when the car goes down. And I'll speak about it later. When the cars go down, you have to keep the contact, because diving afterwards, forget it. And now, to break the windows, when you can break the windows, your little thing like this, you know that, it's in the bus with so, but don't do it. Just Put it like this, up, and you say, and it breaks. And that's a good thing also, because we have a paro beak here, and that paro beak, you can cut the security belts, especially, for instance, when you are on the top. When they are twisted, you can cut them with this. But no, everybody has something. Then you can break the windows also when your fire extinguisher, the fire extinguisher, when you can hit him, is the back of the fire extinguisher. You can hit him also, and you will see how it is explained here. But somebody says about the electricity. I spoke with the engineers of Mercedes, Volvo, and Ford. And they confirm me that the electric, all the electricity, is so well protected that it continues till there is a, a culture to the battery. And they say, if you saw in some films that you see cars driving through the water. And you see it work. When you are in a car wash, when you are in a storm, no, it's very good protected, and you can be sure that 90% it will work. When it not works, you have to break it. And to break, you only can break it when you have something heavy or something with a point. And when there are policemen, beyond, because I also give the instruction to policemen, you can use your pistol, not shooting. We did it, we did it shooting, and happily, I have my cat, it goes in the little room, don't do it. But, you can do it with, exactly, you use your pistol like a hammer. But then pay attention, you will see it afterwards, you have, you are in the car, the water is that high, you hit the window, at that moment, the water is coming in and bring the glass with you. When you do that, please close your eyes. Because, I mean, it might be possible also, when you do it electrically, that with the pressure from behind, that it will not work also. But then you push a bit against it and it will work. That's it, how to get out. I told you, look how she's up, you take the next one. Here, I'm instructing how to bring a girl out. You sit here and not twist it. And I hope I will see you this afternoon or tomorrow when you can try it on the island. On the island. Here, you see a father. He came out, the fourth one, he take his kid out, Put them, you can put them on the roof. The car flows. When you when you come to this afternoon, you will say that car flows one, two, three minutes, depending on what it is.
Also, you can open the doors, but then, please, you have to push against the door and not try to get out. No. Open it, open the lock, and then you have to push. And when it is possible, you position your, your feet and you push very heavily. You keep that door open and you pull other people's out. Then you have 10 seconds and you call it away. So when you open the door, 10 seconds that everybody wants to say the, somebody who is in the car, at that moment, they have to be ready because you have no time. And before I said, you have to keep the contact with the car. Why you have to keep the contact? That car is going down. Don't stay at the surface and, and breathe and go down. It's impossible. It's impossible because you're excited. I'm opening the door and uh, there is no danger because those guys, those two, are my grandchildren and they are still alive. Well, we come to you. I spoke about that air bubble. You see that air bubble here? You see that air bubble here? When are you going to do it? Try to do it this afternoon. You unlock, you do the movement on that. And then you stay in that air bubble and you go up and you stay the reason. Yesterday there was a young lady, the young lady who was at the reception. She stayed in it for over three minutes. We go there, she was sitting behind. Okay, you see that air bubble here. That's very, very, very important. Look here, the face going down, the sinking face. Look at the man who is getting out. He has opened the, the, the window and he's getting out. Here he is pushing. He's the same. He is pushing and then when you open that door, you have to keep the door open. It goes the direction of the water. Look here, there's a lifesaver. He's helping somebody out with a car on the bottom. He has positive, his positive, look the position of his hand because you have to have a position to pull out. You cannot pull out like that. You have to do everything. You have to pull it out. And here you see very, very, very good. Here you see that very good. Look at hands. Put that hand and then he opens the door. And to open the door, you can put your knee against the coach wall, or you can put your foot against the coach wall. But you cannot open the door like that. On the wall, when you are outside, you have to do and push and pull at you. And those are all things. When you want, we can do it. We can do it tomorrow. Uh, yeah, the, posi the, the position of bottom is exactly, you have to open, like we said, you have to bring the window to everything. But then I spoke about that air bubble, and that air bubble, that is very, very important. Because, by possible, when the car is bottom in this position, there you can find some air to the top here. But it's only two or three centimeters. You have to bring your lips against the roof and try to, to find it. And how do you find that air bubble? <laughs> when you open your eyes, it looks like a mirror. It looks like a mirror. And then you have to push it and breathe very, very, very slowly. Uh, a good thing also is when you get up and when you have to bring somebody to the top, try to push up from the bottom. Here you see again that guy getting out and here he is bringing uh, income transition first to the top. Look here the position when you put your feet together, push yourself together. But it might be possible that you are not 
in the car and that you are, you see what's happening. The first thing you have to do naturally is to call for the people, for the people of help, for the specialized help. But they can be as quick as they want. They need seven to ten minutes, and that is too late. When you want to help, you have to go to water or do something else. And the boat is floating like a boat. Uh, in a car in the water is floating like a boat. You can push it. And there, I had a proof. I gave once uh, class to a group of people. And in the neighborhood, we had, uh, how do you call it, uh, a touch, uh, um, a barrage. You know? A barrage. When you have a wall here, a lot of water here, it was very deep. Uh, how do you call it? How do you? Okay, no problem. There was a, a place where people come and they are barbecue and uh, they were playing and at the end of the day there was a car standing like this a father was charging everything in his car but he had two young guys and those guys seven eight years they were running around and he put the car he put the guy his children and he put them in the car but in the car what he did they released the brake, and that car flew like that in the water and was floating. And in the beginning, this was not very deep, but afterwards, it was deep like that. One of the spectators who was there, he had all the courses made, and he cried to the people, come on, and he made a human chain, so he swam. He took the car at the end, and everybody went there, and he pulled the car at the board, and the kids came out. I will not tell that the father took his key and ran away, no, but his children were uh, safe. So you can pull it. But then, when you have to go into the water, and you see that the door, that the window is not open. Bring something with you to break the window. You have not Rambo that you can break the, the glass like that. You have to bring a stone or something to break the window to help the others. And now the specific course, and I hope that some of you will do also a specific course. <coughs> And we did it on, you can believe me, on several tests. And it is open to everybody, even, and no swimmers, because they come in the car, and we have cars to bring them out and bring them ashore. It's a minimum of theory. It's not so much as here, just just few, just basic, but a maximum of practice. Everybody get out <laughs> and then pay attention. It's realistic, but safety first. And that will be the same thing this afternoon and tomorrow. Um, it is possible in open water, in swimming pools, it is open every place, but we do it on, this, on that way, we have one director, we have five divers, five divers, that means that when the cars get down, we got one, two, and every dog, we have diver, and one diver is the chief, and that chief is contact with the man of the winch, who is winching the car out, no crying, slowly, three sides, get up, Get down and stop. No crying. We work professionally. And crying, it will not help. It will just distribute everybody. And afterwards, they, when they get out, 
we have also a uh, distribution of the product. But I speak about this later. We have three instructors by explaining the film. You will see this a little later. Here we deal with the open plates. Here the same. Here we do it in the swimming pool. And that was in the dock in Galicia. And in that dock in Galicia, he gave a lecture for fire, uh, for fire worker, for policemen, for a, well, a lot of people in there. And then they said, yeah, but you explain it so easily. I said, give me a car and I prove that it works. And we went to look for a car by somebody who would make a destruction of cars. And I did it in the afternoon <laughs> process. Why the subject? It's very, very easy to do, and you will see it also tomorrow. And now for that material that we need for the course, and I explained it because I want to give you some more, because then some of you will organize the course also. You need a little car, naturally, not a uh, car you drive because you go to somebody who make destruction of cars and you can use the car, you let the car. And then you have a winch to winch it out and the slope. A slope because you cannot put it out like that, it has to be winched out. First of all, we have the registration. You cannot say to everybody, come on, everybody is waiting. No, you have to registrate, I come at time, another 9.30, and then another group at uh, 950 and so on. Then we have the uh, explication. We are, I was uh, telling uh, afterwards that we have different ex exercises in the car, instruction of CPR, we are, and also <coughs> the, the instruction, uh, the revision of the certificate, delivery of certificate. And now, please, at 15 minutes of time, you will see a film. That film is made in 2003, but I use images from uh, 1975, and then you will see the break, the windshield before. <laughs> now it's impossible to break the windshield. Before, we could push it out. That's happening, he's coming, what is going to do? He don't know what he has to do. So this film was made in order to survival chances of the people. That is a repetition of what you saw before in the film. <coughs> Cars can in this way land in water in different positions 
be it on their side or on their road. Flung open doors or broken windows will cause the oh, rat to escape there while a dent broke no, no, in the air bubble, considerably reducing the floating time. The angle at which the car lands in the water also has its influence. The impact on the water That's what I want to say. It's very hard. 75. It is comparable to a sudden stop proof in which the vehicle comes to the use of the safety belt. And with that is uh, not the passengers are not actually now, but they can take it out of the train. As a result. This will primarily be so for the front seat passengers who will have their heads bashed against the front window, causing possible loss of consciousness. Safety belts and fastened out of this place, avoiding injuries and increasing use your safety belts. It will save life. Wear your belt and increase your chances. When you don't have a safety belt and you come in the water, you don't have a belt where you are or your sweet car and you want to do it. Pedagogically organized, theory and practice going hand in hand. Registration. Following the registrations comes a didactic video film in which the principal guidelines are already incorporated and the exercises show with an accompanying commentary by a teacher.
No, we will count. We will count our long glass before the glass is ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do you realize when you open the door, you have very good time to save another position? <laughs> When you open the door, the car is away in no time. One must continue to try to exit the car as quickly as possible. Remain breathing for as long as possible. Look at the air. Look at the air. Look the air. Fork against the road. You see? He's breathing in the air. Keep the door open. Pull them out.
And uh, the last uh, two months, I gave it to the police on the Royal Passport Pass, and uh, the police was protecting VIPs. And they have that kind of vehicles. I give it to you. You cannot open the door from outside. You cannot break the window. But inside, inside, oh. Next one. But inside, there, you can put something. And then the four doors are flying out. We did, I didn't try it, it's still expensive, but it might be possible. Yeah. That's fine. Then the locks you cannot do, so pay, pay attention when you have one of those those cars. And then some other useful information is you think the airbags. People say to me, the airbags, they blow up. What shall we do now? Look what happens. It's blowing up. It's fluttering directly afterwards. I try this one. Ah, it's not working this one. And that are the side ones. The side one. And when they explode, in general, the side window is broke break also breaks also. But I repeat it again this one here. Explodes and it Fluttering drive directly afterwards. And then another more useful information is to bring cars out. And I don't know if there are policemen, but when there is a car who comes in the water and we take and has to do something with stolen cars or something, and you bring a car out in this way, everything is falling out. And then they send divers to look about falling out. Now, the best thing is that car, it can be in an impartial position, open the door, you put a tire in it or a big sack, you go and you blow air on it. At that moment, that car is floating and comes with the top to the surface. And then you threw it to a side here, and you put it out, and everything stays in it. I explained it several times to the fire workers, but they prefer to do it that way, it's much easier. Uh, well, we come to the conclusions. And now you think, know the danger, and the danger will be less dangerous. And so you have to train. When there is something who is dangerous, please train it. And the danger will be less dangerous. That was my device when he did the instruction in the army. We can reduce the number of victims when we provide the necessary information and the exact information to passengers of rescuers. Only tell them what is true, what we tried 10, 20, 100 times. And then organizing the <coughs> forces are to solve in the show. And now I have to ask other questions. No, then I show you something. Listen, when you do something, pay yeah. attention, take it over. There's a car in the water. They're pulling it out. But you need to calculate exactly what was that. They pull it out. No problem. And then what happens? Oh, the car is falling. No problem. They call for a bigger one. Listen, the bigger one. They made the same mistake. They didn't calculate. Going up, going up, and then it flips over. Look, it flips over, and that's it. <laughs> but there is something you have to for everything. 
You have to make a choice. <laughs> you have to choose the girl we don't just want to marry, but you have to choose you which one you are going to save. And here, that guy is a golf player. And look his wife, she's still in the car. So he decided to save her for all the time. So he took two turns as well. That's the way. That hurts. I will end here and I will try all the time to say something in Polish. Jeżeli nie macie panifu, więcej pytań dziękuję za uwagę i mam nadzieję, że nigdy nie będzie musieli wykorzystywać praktyce informacji, które wam wieczaj przekazały. I hope uh, you learn something. So to me, I hope that you see what you have to do to save others. And when you can, tell it to your surroundings. And maybe this will help to save a life. And thank you for your attention. But I see you this afternoon or tomorrow in the car. We bring up the only we have the exercise. Get out as quick as possible. But then, when you are watching, we do exercise. We wait as long as we can. We stay in the car. We open the back doors. We blow air in it. We swim. We go down. Swim through the car. Go and breathe in the air and go on. Who doesn't? A lot of exercise you will be able to do, and I don't think you will have many chances to do it. And now, enough talking. See you in the afternoon tomorrow. Thank you for your attention.